Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharon. Welcome. I am so happy to have you. If you're a new subscriber, um, thank you for subscribing. If you're a new viewer and haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button to subscribe before you leave. I make beauty videos um, and also other just kind of lifestyle videos, organization, things like that. Um, so yeah, so today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a bridal makeup trial. I am getting married in exactly 70 days on September 8th. Um, and I am starting to test out the kind of look I want to wear my wedding day. So this is look number one. It is an all matte eyeshadow look. I think my next look is going to have some shimmer. So if that's up your alley, definitely stay tuned for my second trial. Um, but this is the first look. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this, keep on watching. So let's go ahead and get started. We are first going to put my hair back so it is away from my face. We are going to start with a trick that I got from Casey Holmes. I know other people do it, but she's the main one I see do it. We are going to put tape on our eyes um, so that I have a really clean line. This will also help when I do my winged eyeliner. Okay, I think those are pretty even. So I decided today to go with my Tarte Lip Palette, and I am really going to focus in um, on this row right here with the purples. Again, I'm just testing this out. Not sure if this is the route I'm gonna go. Typically, I like shimmery eyeshadow looks, but I am gonna test out matte today because I know that's traditionally what people do on their wedding day is matte eyelids, um, which I do like matte eyeshadow. It's just not my preference because I don't think it's as fun. I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in light. I'm also going to a wedding tonight for one of my really good friends that I actually met when I was working at Build-A-Bear <laughs> while I was in college. Um, so that was quite a while ago. I met her in 2010 and she's getting married tonight. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to kind of just go a little above and beyond on my makeup um, and also film it to test out maybe if it's something I want to do on my wedding day. And I think I'm going to go in with Natural Beauty first from that row. It's right here. Definitely want it to be a little more bold than my typical everyday eye look just because, um, you know, there will be photography, all that good stuff. And you really want your, your makeup to stand out. You don't want to look washed out or like you don't have enough on. So definitely going to make it a little bit more bold than normal. Oh, and I was using my Golden Triangle Tapered Blending Brush. It's 785. This was recommended by Jessica Braun, and I love this brush. I kind of want to buy another one um, because it's so perfect. I just absolutely love it. So then I'm going to take, um, oh my gosh, it's so worn you can't even really see it anymore. It's my Sigma um, E10 brush, which I also love, and I really want to get another one of these. And I'm going to go in with Best Friend just to deepen up that crease and kind of outer portion here, my outer V. And I'm gonna go in with kind of a light hand at first because I would rather build it up than have to like wipe it off and start over because it just got out of hand. Have you guys ever had that where you, you go in and it's like you were going for a natural look and the next thing you know, you have this magnificent smoky eye that has a wing that's out to your ears and and it looks like you're ready to go to the club with Kesha. Because that's definitely happened to me. Like I go in and I'm like, oh, it's going to be a natural beauty day. And next thing you know, I got 10 pounds of glitter on. I mean, it happens. You get playing or, you know, you mess up or something. And then it's like, well, got to work with it now. Nothing else I can do. I think I am going to go in with Milk, my NYX eye pencil. Because I just really want my... Um, lid color to pop and this is going to help do that it's just going to make it a lot more bold and then i'm going to use my mac um 242 i think it's wonderful oh and i'm going in with caregiver it's um, a light pink color from that same purple row we'll do the other eye with the milk pencil <laughs> happy with how that's looking so far. I just want there to be more purple incorporated. I'm going to take my other MAC brush in 217, which is of course another classic that's been raved about. 
and I'm gonna take um, Best Friend again. It's that more purple color, the lighter, well, medium purple. There's a darker one in there that I am going to use, just not yet. And we're just gonna put this right here in the outer V and fluff it up just a little. If you guys love purple eyeshadows too, let me know your go-to colors because I know purples can be so difficult. That's what everyone talks about, um, that you know purples are so difficult to manufacture. So that's why it's hard to find a great purple um, that just you know blends really well, looks really great. Um, so let me know. Let me know if you have some favorites. Okay, now I'm going to take the MAC um, 217 again and go in with Bombshell, that darker color, but real light because I don't want too much. Blend that a little there. Okay, and then circular windshield wiper motions, as Jaclyn Hill would say. Oh, and I'm just going back in with the shadow that was still on my... Sigma brush just to blend a little bit more because again I'm not trying to make it too crazy smoky just just enough to make my eyes pop but at the same time we want that inner portion to be really bright so we're gonna go back in I think I'm gonna mix caregiver and super mom here caregiver is really pink and super mom is more of like a creamy um, ivory color so I'm just gonna blend the two and go back to the lid just to brighten that up even more. I love this palette. I think it is so good. I don't reach for it as often because it is all matte. And I, like I said, I prefer shimmer. But oh my gosh, I'm loving this look so far. I'm really pleasantly surprised. I'm going in back in with Best Friend. And I'm really loading up my brush. I am going to pat it off. But I've really loaded up my brush there. Because I just really want to get this outer V nice and purple hopefully this turns out well because i have not tried this combination before with this palette so we'll see i'm winging it we're gonna find out how it looks together but you know that's why makeup is fun and that's why this is a trial so i'm really pleased with the eye look i think it's coming together nicely and we can go ahead and peel off the tape to so see now we have this really nice line that's also going to be a great guide for my winged eyeliner. So, okay, this is another um, new buy for me that I purchased because it was recommended by Jessica Braun or GM Beauty 89. And it's the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I've only used it once, so we're going to try it again today, see how it works. And I, I want it to be a thin line. We'll see what happens. Okay, we are finally done with eyeliner. Got that all straightened out. Now, I think it is time for primer. This is yet another recommendation from Jessica Braun or Jam Beauty. It is the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. Oh, okay, there you go. Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfector. I'm only going to put this um, in select areas like my chin right here just to smooth that out nice. I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute and I'm going to curl my lashes and put on mascara. Now I'm going to go in with the roller lash from Benefit. Like I love this mascara, it's wonderful. Also, I really hope you can't hear my dog in the background. She's been on the bed snoring. So, sorry if that's been bothering you and you heard that. She's loud, she's a pug. They snore. What can you do? And I am going to go in with um, Ardell Demi Wispies. Okay, so we have the lashes on and I'm not sure I love them. I feel like they're way too much on my eyes. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think they're too much? Well, we're gonna work with it for now. I just feel like I look like Snuffleupagus. Upagus, whatever his name is, you know, from Sesame Street. I'm just like, hello. I think it looks crazy, but we'll see how it looks when my makeup's all finished. 
Okay, let's go in with foundation. Again, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I'm in number three. I did do three pumps on the back of my hand. I'm going in with my wet L'Oreal sponge. Dot it on my face. Okay, I feel like that looks like pretty good coverage, but I feel like I need a little bit more over here. So I'm just going to do another pump. I feel like I might like the lashes more once I see everything done, you know? When you don't have all your makeup on and, you know, your contour and concealer and highlighter, and then you go in with like these massive lashes, I feel like anyone's going to look silly, you know? Okay, I think the foundation's looking pretty good. And we are going to go in with a color correcting um, under eye bit. Um, this is the Maybelline Master Camo um, in 50 Apricot. And I'm just gonna do one dot because I found if I use too much, it's kind of hard to cover up, but just a little bit really helps with those dark circles under my eyes. It looks crazy now, but once I put the foundation, or not foundation, the concealer on top, it's going to look great. I am going to use my MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer, and I am in NC20. I, and it's a great concealer. I hadn't had it in years and years and years. And I decided that this was going to be one of the things that I would test out or, or treat myself to for the wedding. I've been primarily using Tarte Shape Tape. And I wanted something different. And we are going to bake. And I'm going to use my airspun powder to bake. Because this is a great powder and really inexpensive. One of the things on my makeup wish list, especially for the wedding, is the Laura Mercier powder that everyone loves and raves about. And I would absolutely love to get it. It's just so expensive. And I think that this powder is great too. So maybe someday if I get a Sephora gift card or something, I'll treat myself. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this extra powder here and let it set. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and I am just using my Hourglass Arch. I really just use two products and the spoolie to kind of just make them look more defined and filled in. That gimme brow, I love it. I'm actually using shade number three today. So I got brows done and I'm going to contour next while waiting for this bake to set. And this is one of my very favorite brushes. Um, it is the Face Secrets Jumbo Fan Brush from Sally Beauty Supply. And I'm using um, my Fiona Styles palette. Um, I'm not sure where you can still buy this. I bought mine at Ulta on clearance. So I don't know if they still even make it or what, but I love this contour palette. It's in light medium. I pretty much primarily focus on this light one and sometimes mix in that medium shade if I want to look a little bit more bronzed. And then just lightly go in. I just love this brush. I have a couple different contour brushes that are like actually made for contour, but I love this fan brush. I think it's so perfect for that, and I've never ever seen it before. I just randomly saw it there when I was at Sally's one night with my mom because it's right next to our Weight Watchers location, and me and my mom do Weight Watchers. Um, but yeah, I I saw it, and I I remember who did I hear talking about it? I want to say it was like Tati or Jacqueline Hill said that someone used a fan brush on them to do blush. And that it gave a really nice like natural finish and so i was initially thinking it would be for that but then i realized it was much too dense and that and then i thought oh man that would be like perfect for sculpting the face okay then i'm going to mix these two to contour around my hairline okay and then i'm going to take my sigma duo fiber f50 brush and bronze just a little bit but i'm gonna use my hula white bronzer and just lightly go over that contour we did just to bronze it a little bit 
Okay, now we are going to dust away that bake and I'm going to use my e.l.f. highlighter brush for that. And to wipe this away, I'm going to use the NYX HD um, finishing powder. And this is like the banana shade, like the yellow brightening shade. I don't want too much since I already have so much of this bake, but just enough to also add a little bit of bright. I look very bright. Oh my gosh, I do I look like Casper. I gotta figure out lighting while I'm here because that's gonna drive me nuts to have such weird lighting. But I swear, in person, I don't look that white. I mean, I'm pale, like I said, but I don't look that white. Okay, now we are gonna do the under eye. And I do have a liner. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit, and then we're gonna do powder on top of that. This is my NYX 24 7 Glide On Pencil in Rockstar. We're not gonna go in all the way because A, that closes the eye, and B, that makes this look way too dramatic, and I'm not going for that. And then we are going to just take a small, like, little detail brush. This is from Coastal Scents. I usually use a pencil brush from Sigma, but I lost the rest of my brushes in the move. I have no idea where they are. Um, and then I'm gonna mix Best Friend and Bombshell. Those are those two darker purple shades. I'm gonna mix them both together, dust it off, and just go under and smudge it into my lash line. By the way, what's your favorite lash glue for if you're gonna be crying? Because I'm sure I will cry. I'm sure of it. Okay. I think that's looking pretty good and then you will go in with roller lash again on the lower lashes so eyes are all done okay let's finish the face i'm going to go in with my tarte amazonian clay blush in exposed just that really pretty natural pink flush and i'm going to use a real techniques blush brush for that and concentrate it higher up and then I'm going to take the stippling brush again that has that leftover um, bronzer and just kind of swirl all that together. Make sure everything's mixed really well, blended. And then we're going to go in with my favorite highlighter right now, which is the Pure um, Afterglow Highlighter. I love, love, love this. Just hit all those, you know, high points that you want to highlight. This is a very subtle highlighter. I am not one for like strobing or really big. I just want like, do you see that? That really pretty natural glow. This looks muddy to me. And I really just think that's how the camera looks because in person it doesn't look like that. Hmm. I'm gonna have to experiment a little bit more because with my lighting because it's really messing with this. And it's not translating how it looks in real life. So what's left lips this is like the one for sure thing i know i am definitely using on my um on my wedding day and it's my buxom lip products in dolly i absolutely love this and i also have the matching gloss that i will use for the reception i'll probably just go with this duo here the pencil and like the matte lipstick thing um just use these for the actual ceremony and then use the gloss for the reception to touch up throughout the night because it has such a nice color to it this is like my all-time favorite lip color that I've ever, ever used. Now I'll go in with the lipstick. Okay, now I am going to go and finish my hair so we can kind of get the whole idea of how this is going to look when I'm all kind of done up. So here is the finished look. With my hair all done, I feel like it's easier to see kind of the big picture of the whole look when hair is done and everything. Obviously, I'm still just like in my comfy sweatshirt, um, but, and my hair isn't perfect, but it's curled enough. It's gonna work for the wedding tonight. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I think I'm eating my words on these lashes because I went to the bathroom and kind of looked in the mirror from afar, and I was like, dang, that looks good. So I'm kind of reconsidering these. I think it looks really nice once everything's all said and done. Um, we'll see how this wears because I am going to a wedding tonight. And we'll see how this holds up because I'm sure we'll dance at some point and take lots of pictures. So we'll see how this all wears, but I am really happy with it. So yeah, let me know down below if you like this look and stay tuned 
for additional makeup trials. I want to do at least one more, if not two. So give this a thumbs up if that's something you'd like to see. So I make sure to know to film that soon. Um, anyways, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.